Palestinian paramedics transport the bodies of two of their colleagues to NASA Hospital in Khan Yunus after they were killed in a strike on their ambulance the previous day in Rafa's Tal al Sultan area. An Israeli strike over the weekend that started a fire and killed dozens in a displacement camp in the same area drew a wave of fresh condemnation following the Israeli military's incursion into Gaza's southernmost city. Rafa residents reported intense artillery shelling and gunfire after Israel said it seized a strategic corridor along Gaza's border with Egypt during its incursion into the city that began in early May despite international objections. Israel claims it took operational control of the 14-kilometer Philadelphia Corridor, suspecting it was used for weapon smuggling. Allegations Egypt has rejected, warning it could violate the 1979 peace treaty. The Israeli offensive followed a weekend strike on a displaced persons camp that killed 45, drawing a wave of condemnation including a viral all eyes on Rafa social media campaign shared by millions. Israel, vowing to destroy Hamas after its October 7 attack, says its troops found weapons and tunnels in Rafa while battling militants in areas like Jabalia. An Algerian UN draft resolution demands an immediate ceasefire and hostage release, though the vote timing is unclear. The war erupted after Hamas's October 7 attack killing 1,189 people, mostly civilians. Militants took 252 hostages, 121 remaining. Israel's retaliation has killed at least 36,224 Gazans so far, according to Hamas officials. Israel's security adviser said the war could last until year's end to destroy Hamas's capabilities. The US had urged restraint in Rafah over civilian risks, though the White House said red lines weren't crossed yet.